SD cards are a versatile piece of technology. They're the go-to storage choice for a wide range of devices from drones to cameras to smartphones. However, there is a new SD Express standard coming that you should know about. So let's take a look at what the new SD Express 7.1 standard brings to the table and what it means for consumers. Hello everyone, my name's Mike and here at Sabrent we love to make and talk tech. So if that's what you're into, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can stay updated with all our future videos. Initially, the SD 7.0 standard just covered regular SD cards, but the newer SD 7.1 standard now brings all of that power to micro SD cards. So let's dive into what's this whole SD 7.1 standard all about. SD stands for Secure Digital, and Secure Digital is a memory card standard that is developed by the SD Association, or SDA for short. Currently comprising of a thousand different technology companies, the SDA creates and promotes SD card standards that companies can use. The SD Express 7.1 standard is the latest standard released by the SDA. It was first announced at Mobile World Congress 2019, and the new SD standard defines the parameters and specifications of the next generation of SD cards. SDA initially announced the SD 7.0 standard a few months before the SD 7.1 announcement, but it was only covering the full-size SD Express cards. The SD Express 7.1 standard brought all of these upgrades to the micro SD card format as well. With the newer SD Express 7.1 specification, we are getting support for PC 3.0 and NVMe. This means that these new SD standards can take full advantage of high speed port protocols. The SD Express 7.1 standard also introduced the SD Ultra Capacity format, or SDUC for short, which expands the maximum memory capacity of an SD card from the previous limit of 2 terabytes of the SDXC format to a whopping 128 terabytes. Yes, you heard me right, 128 terabytes. Just to be clear, there are currently no SD cards on the market with 128 terabytes of storage, nor might it ever happen. This is just the maximum potential that can be achieved with the SD Express 7.1 standard. But this does open up the possibility for higher capacity SD cards in the future, both for regular and micro SD card variants of these cards. The introduction of PC 3.1 support means that future SD cards will have all of the benefits of high bandwidth and low latency storage that these protocols offer. Previously, these protocols were really only available on SSDs like our Sabrin Rocket lineup. The inclusion of these interfaces with SD cards means that faster read and write speeds can be achieved. The newest standard can achieve transfer speeds of around 985 megabytes per second with single lane PC 3.1. This is really high speed for a very small piece of technology. The new SD Express 7.1 specs are in line with the modern demanding requirements of the storage sector, especially since things like high resolution capture technology have become really popular. We already have smartphones and mobile phones and drones and cameras that can capture footage in 8K and sometimes even higher, and storage has been the limiting factor when it comes to storing all of this data. The SD Express 7.1 standard provides exactly that. Now that the standard is set, SD card manufacturers can start to work on bringing the next generation of SD cards to the market so that you can fully utilize these technologies in your devices. The new SD Express 7.1 standard is also good news for mobile computing, IoT devices, modern automotive systems, and more. Just imagine having a dash cam with a 20 terabyte amount of storage that you can store months and months of driving footage for in a tiny SD card. You could just pull that card out and review any of that footage whenever you liked. The SD Express 7.1 was a much needed upgrade. Modern data requirements are growing at a pretty fast rate, so faster storage solutions solutions aren't a luxury but rather a necessity. When it comes to micro SD cards, we will see a second row of pins to support the higher speeds and the full SD card sizes will have the same layout as the current UHS-2 cards. This form factor may support a single lane of PC Gen 3 to achieve those 985 megabyte per second speeds. However, 
These cards do not support the UHS-2 interface and only support the UHS-1 interface. This still ensures backwards compatibility with thousands of card readers and devices like these, but will be limited to the UHS-1 speeds. Therefore, you will need a specific SD Express 7.1 compatible device and card reader in order to make use of those blazing fast speeds. Here are what the new markings to look out for when shopping for the SD Express 7.1 devices, cards, and or card readers. The SD Express 7.1 standard is a testament to the leap in storage technology. Only a few years ago, one terabyte of SD card storage was enough to make heads turn. Now that we have the potential for 128 terabyte cards, I mean, that's just gonna be mind blowing. It's good to see that modern storage solutions are keeping up with our storage requirements. And now with SD Express 7.1 standards coming out, the SD card is basically a tiny SSD. This allows modern SD cards to do a lot of the things that previously just wasn't possible on a standard SD card. With the added support for the PC interface, there's nothing holding SD cards back anymore. This means that the next generation of SD Express cards will be able to provide unprecedented performance and user experience. And with that, we've come to the end of this video. If you found this video interesting, then make sure to smash that like button and also hit that subscribe button and and notification bell so you can stay updated with more content just like this one. Anyway, look after yourselves and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.